They've never been manipulated, right? We've never seen gold no. get manipulated by J.P. Morgan and, they're, and resulting in a billion dollar lawsuit, have we? <laughs> yeah. So those uh, billion dollar lawsuits, when they do pay off, are they paying back any of the investors that invested with them? No. <laughs> no. It's just a penalty. That's a slap that on the hand, through. right? Right before I quit being a financial advisor, uh, I had gone to a training and this is after, you know, Y2K had happened and everything. And it was coming back again. And they were talking about earning consistent rates of return versus fall in the market. Cause you know, they talk about average rates of return in the market, right? Like even Dave Ramsey still says you can make 10 or 12% in the stock market, which is 100% BS, 100% because the 30 year average an actual yield, like if you put in the numbers, it comes up with the right numbers. The actual 30 year yields about 8.3% right now in the S and P 500. That's before fees come out. That's before your taxes and everything else. Well, I remember seeing like average returns. Like they talked about, Hey, if you lose 50% of your money, you lose half of it. They asked us, they, they asked all those financial advisors in the room. There's probably at least 50 or 60 of us. The guy asked, the trainer said, if you lose 50%, what's the rate of return you need to get back to zero? And of course we all said, 50% because we're brilliant financial minds, of course, because you gotta be, you gotta be a brilliant financial mind to be a financial advisor, regardless of the fact that you just have to pass a test with 70% and have a heartbeat. Um, <laughs> so we all said 50%. He said, well, that doesn't work. Look at the math. So you went from hundred thousand down to 50,000, you get a 50% return that 50,000 only earns 25. You're up to 75,000. You're still 25,000 short. He said, no, you don't need. 50% return, you need a hundred percent return. Cause when you lose half, now you have to double, which is a hundred percent return. He's like, right. you fat, you do that average, right? Minus 50 plus a hundred is 50 divided by two years as a 25% average rate of return, which is exactly the rate of return that every financial advisor uses. And, and it blew our minds. And we're like, wait a minute, holy cow. Even, you know, this is even worse if you're in retirement, because think about it, if you lose half your money and then you pull out 10%, right? right. Now you're down to 40% of that money, or maybe let's say 45, really, right? Because mm -hmm. you take 10% of that, but now you need a way more than hundred percent just to get back to where you were to get back to your old planning model. And it doesn't work that way, especially if you're pulling out money, it's actually dangerous. You could lose money faster, uh, which is why in reality, a lot of people couldn't retire as easily during Y2K moving into the great recession and so on. Some people, including my own father, postponed his retirement 15 years because the market just happened to turn right when he was about to retire. And so he went from hoping to retire in his mid fifties to retiring at about 70. Wow. Well, and, and that's the part of the problem with uh, rates being as low as they have been his, historically mm -hmm. for the, we'll, we'll call it past 10 years. Um, they've pushed people into more risky uh, stock market investments, uh, equities, uh, companies that aren't even earning an income. It, it reminds me of the NBA draft. I'm drafting this guy uh, either right out of high school or from Europe. Um, he has no, all he has is upside. He's not proven anything. He's just big, strong and fast. Um, but he's got tremendous upside instead of drafting the person that you've seen the record, you know what to expect. Uh, it's the same thing that happens in the stock market. People are valuating companies that have no earnings uh, mm -hmm. based on potential earnings. And if you're invested in all of that, and then uh, suddenly uh, interest rates go up and people start moving over into mm -hmm. uh, something a little more secure, or you have a, a black swan event and all of a sudden, those companies that had the potential no longer had the potential. Yeah. You can lose a bunch of money and it's really a shame. I was actually looking at my own parents um, portfolio and they're in their mid eighties and their guy had them at uh, probably a third of their portfolio is in commodities. <laughs> and like I said, mid eighties, why are they, in commodities that they should be all in fixed income stuff. If they're going to be in the stock market. Sure. Uh, yeah. it, it, it's about preserving the capital. Um, and yes, you could, it could, you could hit a home run with commodities, but you can also lose everything. That's right. It makes well, no they, sense. They've never been manipulated, right? We've never seen gold no. get manipulated by JP Morgan and they're and no. resulting in a billion dollar lawsuit. Have we? No. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> and, and who are, and so those uh, billion dollar lawsuits, when they do pay off, are they paying back any of the investors that invested with them? No, <laughs> no. It's just a penalty. That's a and slap that on the hand, to, right? Goes to the SEC. Mm -hmm. so, so they can penalize other people. 